Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. You're looking at my Ruger American Ranch Rifle chambered in 350 Legend. I introduced it a couple weeks ago. I said I wanted to create a, a rifle, a whole setup here in 350 Legend that was affordable. And I was able to do that with this setup. We're going to talk about that. I also was able to get this to the range, and that's what this video is about. Now, here is the round itself. The 350 Legend straight wall cartridge, 145 grain target load that's rather inexpensive between 11 and 12 dollars for a box of 20 winchester makes it we'll see if other companies jump on board here is the hunting load it's a soft point it's a 150 grain bullet that is more expensive now the rifle itself is a nice setup bolt action you can build an ar and other companies are building ars with the 350 legend chambering but i went with the bolt action it does have a five round magazine four and a half pound marksman trigger flat dark earth stock picatinny rail and 16.4 inch threaded barrel the optic in the bipod i got from ironclad mags shout out to them uh, zach who owns that site helped me pick the bipod i went with a harris bipod happy with that a little less expensive option compared to the atlas and we talked about it and then the vortex diamondback is a i think a budget optic it's a three to nine by 40 optic that suits this whole situation very well one of the things that i kept reading about and seeing reviews about was the severe bullet drop with the 350 legend people said that you know eight to 12 inches between 100 and 200 yards you would see a like you know an eight to 12 inch bullet drop and i think that's a lot you know for for a rifle round so that's what i wanted to check out here now my good buddy trees of blowing spotted for me he was behind me with binoculars i dialed in this optic at 100 yards then backed up to 200 yards expecting 8 to 12 inch bullet drop but that is not what i experienced at all let's check out that footage right now okay do my best all right here we go Oh, right in that group area, Dan. Center hold, 200 yards. Time to use a little bit right of center. Just a little. I'm noticing that a, a little bit of a grouping to the right. Dead nuts. But I'm all right there. Use that for hunting. You can kill a deer at that distance anytime. Yeah. Yeah, too many hits on there. I can't even call them. You're hitting it though. Right. It's it's pretty. Oop. Oop. Ah. <laughs> Oop. Jumped. Jumped that one. Yeah, okay. A high. All right. I noticed no great difference when shooting or the way the round performed between the target load and the hunting load. Only a five grain difference between the bullets. So I was able to see that there was no bullet drop. With a center hold at 200 yards compared to 100 yards, there was no bullet drop at all that I experienced. So we backed up another 40 yards to 240 yards to see if there would be a difference. Now I know that is not a lot of space, but there were other people waiting to use that space. They were waiting for us to complete this and they seemed to enjoy it. But once again, I was waiting for a drastic bullet drop from the 350 Legend, even if it was just 40 yards, maybe even a couple inches. So I held the, the optic in a center hold on that target Trees of blowing was spotted for me, right behind me. Let's check that footage out. 240 yards, 350 legend target loads. A little bit right and high, I think, Dan. Okay. Still drilling them where, wherever you were drilling them before. Yeah. It's got a nice ping to it, doesn't it? Yeah. 
That was pretty, about an inch above dead center. I seen the splatter on that one. All right, perfect. Last one here. You'll be able to tell more when you see the video. You're drilling it. All right. You're drilling it, partner. Nice. By looking at the target, you can see that my groups were positioned the same place that they were from 100, then 200, and then 240 yards. I was waiting for a bullet drop that I could see from 240 yards, and I just did not see it with my experience. Now, I wanted to step back to 300 yards, but like I said, there were people waiting. I wanted to be respectful. They were, were respectful, and I would expect more of a bullet drop between 240 and 300 yards. That is the span of area that you would expect to see the most bullet drop. I'm gonna eventually do that. I wasn't able to do that with this range session, but I did wanna show you that the 350 Legend, through my experience, was pretty pretty nice to shoot. It was low recoil. It, it hit the target. It, it did exactly what it had to do with uh, 200 then 240 yards and I certainly did enjoy it big shout out to ironclad mags big shout out to trees of blowing and big shout out to Everybody and everything that helped me build this very cool Setup with the Ruger American ranch rifle chambered in 350 legend if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe